we're doing is having all of these physicians recapitulating exactly what we're doing here so that we can combine our data. We've trained physicians in Hong Kong, Canada, and uh, several states around the United States. And we're all doing the exact same procedures the ex exact same way. And I think that's a very important way to advance the field from a research aspect. With centers across the globe, the cell surgical network is made up of doctors who are on the forefront of stem cell therapy. A stem cell, by definition, is a cell that can replicate and differentiate. Differentiate means turn into other body parts. The doctors use a mini liposuction procedure to extract a person's own fat that's rich in adult stem cells. These cells are then separated and filtered from the fat. Our concept and our vision is that everyone has these healing cells in their bodies right under their skin and that you don't have to use another source of cells. Through a simple minor liposuction procedure, you can have access to your own cells and you can then perform repair on your own body and it should be readily available everywhere. The cells are then deployed back into the patient by using minimally invasive techniques. By using this method, doctors hope to treat a whole host of diseases and conditions. We see patients in many categories of diseases, including orthopedics, such as hip, knee, shoulder, and back pain, neurologic problems such as stroke, Parkinson's, muscular dystrophy, uh, multiple sclerosis. While there have been no documented cases of serious injuries using stem cell therapy, it is not yet FDA approved. Potential patients must undergo a screening process before moving forward with the procedure. We review all of them carefully and we show them to our various specialists and uh, we probably decline about 30 to 40 percent of the patients that apply for treatment. And we won't actually accept someone into a protocol unless we feel that it's a good fit and we have a reasonable chance of having a clinical success and feel that the safety factor is there for that patient.